Hey there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 29 of NaNoWriMo. It is just a few minutes before 8 o'clock and I'm going to jump on Kate Cavanaugh's live stream. She's doing her final live stream of NaNo 2019 at 8 o'clock, which uh, is apparently what it takes to get me out of bed early this week. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to be up earlier and get other stuff done first, but whatever. I'm up for that, and uh, my water is about to boil for tea, and let's get some words in. Well, well, I found a live stream, a last minute write-in um, on coffee, books, and bullet journals, which was really helpful. I'm now at 48,590 words, which means less than 1,667 words from the end. Yay! I'm hoping I can actually even make it to 50,000 words tonight. I'm running to Starbucks now, hoping that it is not crazy, so that I can upload the early part of the week's video and do some writing while I'm there and we'll see. Well, I got the video uploaded and YouTube was just not giving me auto captions. So I transcribed the thing and I closed up Starbucks. I was the last person other than staff out of there. No other writing took place and now I'm just beat. It's only 9.30, but I think I'm just going to call it a night. I'm very close to done. I am less than 1,667 words away from being done. And I can do that tomorrow and finish on day 30. And that'll be fine. That's the plan, I think. And um, hey, I'll get to check off another thing on the self-care bingo. Go to bed early. I actually need to update this a bit. I've already got... A bingo here and that'll have me almost get a bingo down this column um, I'm not sure decluttering my crafting table is enough to get the clean box I need to do a little bit more than that but uh, I've got at least one bingo so I am gonna get my reward which is to go get a mani petty that's something I really do enjoy doing and um, yeah, I, I think at the end of this nano, I have earned that. <laughs> and, um, but if I can fill a few more of these boxes anyway, it would be good. For now, yeah, I'm going to work on getting this square by going to bed early. And 930 definitely qualifies as early. And it is now the 30th of November, 30th day of NaNoWriMo, and... Still have a little ways to go, but I got my shirt on. I got a stream about to start in a few minutes. I think it's coffee books and bullet journals again. And then Adele Marie has a sprint going at three, plus the weekend writing marathon is doing their super, print, super sprint Saturday. Second one this month. They did one on the second and the 30th because Nano. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I may not be able to write the end, and I am going to keep going until I get to the end this time. Um, but should be able to make 50K. So let's get on that. All right. Time to put in the words from the last sprint, which bring me to Yes, I'm very happy, still writing at home, on my laptop, not paying attention to the time. Woohoo! Woohoo? No, the badges are broken again! No! Ah, here we go. Yay! 
All right, so I'm going to go download all the fun stuff and um, get back to writing because I still have plenty more to do, even though I have passed 50K. <sighs> so, yay, one. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, I'm very excited to have passed the 50K mark. I'm trying to find the energy to keep writing because I'm not even quite two thirds of the way through the story at 50,978 words, I think is where I'm at at the moment. But that also means I wrote close to 2000 words today, possibly a little over 2000 words today. I don't remember. Point is, I might be done for the day and I know I'm going to keep writing into December. What I do want to get to work on though, now that I'm done with NaNoWriMo, is I want to go work on some advent travels and I just checked and they did just post the first prompt. So just like I think I did last year and possibly the year before, I'm going to share that with you as I discover what my first prompt for the month of December is going to be. All right, so advent travels time. There are 31 prompts for the month of December. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on the screen. Let me see if I can blow it up a little bit. And they're organized in the shape of a Christmas tree. Even though things don't actually have to be Christmas themed, goal is just to write a Drabble with whatever definition you want to use of a Drabble every day for the month of December. The um, true definition of Drabble is it is a piece of fiction that is precisely 100 words. Needless to say, this has caught on more in fandom than, so far as I know, in original fiction because it is much easier to tell a whole story in 100 words if your characters and setting are already established. That said, it can totally be done for original fiction. And so each day as one is added, that date will be lit up. And when you click on that, you get a prompt. So let us see what the prompt is for December 1st, 2019. Da -da -da. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Okay, so tree decorations would be the visual prompt. Now, just in case that doesn't work or something, there is always a verbal backup. Christmas tree decorations. Okay, didn't know if it was anything more specific, like they had to be gold or they had to be um, snowflake shaped or whatever, but just generally Christmas decorations. Okay. My plan is to, since I'm also doing in December, to the extent that I can try to write some of these for indie books. I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. Right. So I'm going to get on that. If I do end up writing any of those travels for indie books, particularly author tuber indie books, I will link those travels in future videos, which some of the videos for December I'm hoping will be also book reviews um, to go along with doing in December. I will link to the video um, from Megan Tennant about In December. And thank you again, Aphrodite Lee, for introducing me to the concept of In December. I did not know that was a thing to, uh, you know, promote reading and reviewing indie authors. So, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I will put links and cards and whatever I can. And I'm going to go see what I can manage to write that is not what I've been writing for the last 30 days. 
Let me know how you've done with NaNoWriMo. Regardless of whether you hit 50K or not, whatever you got done is an accomplishment. It's more than you had at the beginning of November, even if all you did was rethink things and didn't write a single word. If you made progress, you made progress, and that's a good thing. That's all I can think of to say for now, um, but do let me know how you did in NaNoWriMo. Let me know if you're planning to participate in, in December um, or in Advent Travels. Uh, you're more than welcome to, even though it tends to be a lot focused on fandom, because as I say, Drabbles are easier to write with characters that are already established and settings that are already established. It doesn't have to be. It can be original fiction. So come on over and play. Um, oh, and I should say, I, I defined what a true Drabble is. Often on Advent Drabbles, people will just, any super short story will count. Sometimes they'll even get up close to a thousand words. So it can be anything. It's just about writing something throughout the month of December. Um, but in a much more low-key fashion <laughs> than Nano. So I hope to see some of you over there. Uh, I hope to see some of you in comments here. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.